Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to our Sunday, April 17th hangout. Happy Easter. It's pajama day. It's pajama day today. I just did a Jennifer Jacobs ride, so I'm feeling really good. Um, okay, so Margo mentioned that she had many questions today, and considering it's just the four of us on right now, why don't you just kick off and start with your, your questions? Can I just say, oh. like gut health is are you doing it is anyone else doing it mj okay no. so clarissa knows this really well but i haven't slept in like two and a half years through the night and yes. i have had seven straight nights of right through sleep since starting gut health so that's pretty like i never would have thought cutting out gluten or cutting out whatever it is um because i don't really like i don't eat a ton of dairy but um maybe even cheese, right? Like would affect me that much. So I'm down three pounds and four inches, two of them off my waist, just from seven days ago. So, um, and I'm finding it easy. It's not like it's, I don't know, because it's still portion fixed. The one thing that was killing me was six servings of veggies a day. I was like, what the heck? That's a lot of freaking veggies in a day. But then Max gave me the suggestion of putting the spinach and the cauliflower in my shakes so that I could get two servings of veggies just in a shake. So, um, yeah, so I'm really impressed with kind of how easy it's been and with how I'm feeling. So, yeah, some good talking points. So, Margo, you want to go ahead with your questions well, this morning? Uh, first of all, I'm super tickled <laughs> with the way I feel too. Um, mm. My struggle, which sounds like terrible, but I, I like having a beverage in the evening like that. And I've, but I haven't, it's not like I've really missed it that much. It's sort of coming home from work on Thursday night. Cause of course, Friday was a holiday. Typically I'd come home, pour a glass of wine, you know, on the, the night before a weekend or long weekend, especially. So it's a bit weird because, you know, you're trying to find something else to do or, and I don't want to drink too much water because I don't want to be peeing all night long or whatever. But anyways, once you get over that, that sort of one hour <laughs> or at least me <laughs> hump, then I'm okay. So yeah, same with me. I, when I first started doing Beachbody years ago, um, I, I weighed my heaviest. I weighed the same amount I, as I weighed when I had when I gave birth to Andy, I weighed 155 pounds, which is a lot for me. I'm, I have no boobs, like I'm, and I'm not tall. So it, it is for my body. It's, it's my, my mom had a pear shape. I have a pear shape and it just wasn't, I just wasn't comfortable at all. So that's when I started this thing and I got down, myself down to 135, which to me, that's like, like I was 128 when I got married. So 135 is, is my is my teenager weight I it's 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 like I'm happy that uh, yeah so anyways I started this four week gut protocol and I weighed myself on Monday and I was 143 so I have not got I did not get up to 155 again thank goodness but I know I had played around I mean we we had a blast in Dominican we ate we drank we we partied we did all right. the things that are wrong Do I not remember this <laughs> thing about drinking we had we had an absolute blast anyways and I paid zero attention to what I was eating or drinking or whatever and then coming home and then I got COVID and then I paid zero attention again because I was just trying to feed myself and and whatever so I started this at 143 and I'm pleased to say I weighed myself this morning <clears throat> not that it's about weight I know I, but and I've gone into the next decade I'm 139.6 wow so, amazing 3.4 pounds um, yeah Max lost 3.7 she messaged me this morning so yeah That's crazy. I don't have a I don't have a digital scale mine's my grandma's old scale so Mine might be three point something, but I have no idea. Oh, okay. Right? It's one of those old but, school <laughs> dial ones. <laughs> if, if, I mean, if it, now I know, I've got to watch her videos. Have you been watching her videos, her weekly, like her explaining to you what's happening that I haven't. Yeah, I, I have to do, I today. to do that. Because yeah, this week we can have, 
we can reintroduce raw veggies, right? Because well, last week it was supposed to be raw veggies last week. <laughs> Well, so I, I did already been shake. introduced. <laughs> yeah, I did in my shake, but the rest of my stuff was all like I roasted so many vegetables last week that yeah, you know, it was like everything under the sun that I could possibly. Yeah. And it was so yeah. easy to make lunches and dinners then because it was all just ready to go. I know, I know. It is, it is quite. I love the fact that I've I've printed everything off in a book, and I just basically can. I picked all the fruit and vegetables, thirty of them. And it's what I eat anyway. And I just go and buy all that stuff. So anyways, yeah. I find it super easy. But um, so I got to watch that second video. I guess my question, <laughs> how do I find coaches? <laughs> you know, my you have an easy talking. answer for that. Can I just, I'll just write it down. <laughs> just <laughs> you know what? I was actually just sharing that to Jasmine this morning on a voice message because I said, you know, Jasmine, um I don't believe anymore this is my journey maybe Tamara thinks differently this is my journey I don't believe that actually anybody can be ready to coach because there is a personal journey involved so what I believe today seven years into coaching is you you sign and someone up that needs to have a transformation you help them to get killer results and fall in love with the programs and then from there like would you like to do what I do and then you say if like, the person's like me love traveling love love to be like a social butterfly love the live events it's like would you like to go meet the trainers in person and then you will, you will offer this opportunity and even one girl that I met right after the call um I've been following her blah, 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 I don't know anyway she came to have a coffee with me and I told her uh Tachi I gave her a sample she called she loved it she wants to buy it already and I said why don't you do this because she already posts stuff she works for fitness world I was like you already post selfies but then start using the programs fall in love with the journey and you can make a side hustle and you can come travel with us you can have like an, a like-minded community because I think that for me also is the missing piece especially me hanging out with people that go to pubs and want to drink like 20 beers and a bottle of wine and eat popcorn after dinner. I need to be hanging out. I know in my counseling, it came up that I'm a passive person. So I need to change that. I need to actually like be a leader and influence people instead of like letting people influence me. So uh, my belief today, seven years and today, I celebrate seven years that I actually made the decision to lose my weight. That was Easter of 2015. And so that's my weight loss journey. Yes, yeah, seven years. So I believe that nobody's ready to be a coach. You help them to fall in love with everything. And then you present the opportunity. So for this touchy girl, I said, even you can write a, a shit ton of stuff off, like your phone and then start saying, you name it, your rent, this, 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 this. Like this year, I actually... I actually have a, I had a refund for the first time. So I was actually like sharing this. But for some people, money is like not a thing. And so like you have to share the aspect of coaching once they fell in love with the program, got results that would jive with them. That's my belief today. Seven yeah. years into as a coach. Nobody's yeah. like, I couldn't even talk to the camera until two years ago <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, no, I know. I don't I know. know. Like, like I journey. understand. I totally understand what you're saying in this sense. Cause like I, I look at Max and her Melissa, right? Like Melissa is the perfect example of a coach that fell in love with the process and or per, a client that fell in love with the process and then took on the coaching, coaching opportunity. And Debbie, I would say the same for you too, and that it holds you a little more accountable. I really think that if you're talking to someone that's already in kind of the fitness industry and already has some experience with that, that's the person that I would get to coach right away instead of like, or someone who's already working out on a regular basis and just wants, maybe they're not at their goal or, sure. but someone who you're starting off on the journey as um, like a brand new customer. I just get everyone right now. My thing is I'm signing everyone up as a preferred customer and just telling them, look, you may want Shakeology for three months, so sign up as a preferred customer because then you don't have to pay the $17 sign up fee if you want to continue. And if you don't want it, you just click it off, right? So yeah. I got 
two, two of my people that I signed up last month signed up as preferred customers. They've already canceled it. I don't care. They're my client. Like it doesn't matter to me what they, what they decide. Obviously I wish they would stay with Shake Quality because it's better, but at the same time. So give them yeah. that, like, yeah, yeah I, I think it's where they're at in their own personal journey. Cause if they're just starting off and they literally are like, what are you talking about? Then yeah. it's going to scare them away. Whereas yeah. if there's someone who works out on a kind of regular basis or has some sort of health awareness, then I would definitely give them the opportunity to coach. I do. I Can do. I go back to this patchy girl? Just one second before. Uh, this patchy girl that works um, at for fitness, uh, fitness World, right? So she's someone that I would say start as a coach. But yeah. the thing is, um, she told me, like, I don't have the time. Because now she has, like, an online job and she's going to, to school. So I said, that would be the perfect example. She works out. She's already, she's beautiful. I can't even show the picture after. She's already, like, she, she can't, like, have, like, really trimmed and become super lean and um, toned but she's already like at her goal weight but because she's time kind of restricted right now I said I'll help you if you want to sign up as a coach I can help you but you need to have this experience under you because she said, do you have a video that I can watch because I know lots of people can come and like I can sign up lots of people and the shake is delicious I loved it I was hungry I did exactly how you said the recipe and I said there is no magic video <laughs> basically you're going to start sharing like how passionate you are about passion you are about the program because you got killer results and you did it yourself because people yeah they go to the gym they have no idea what to do like you cannot compete with a, a moiless uh freaking knowledge to like a trainer from fitness world right right the right girls you cannot you cannot and so i told her like i can help you in the beginning you don't have time you don't have to be on calls or anything I said, I can do like three-way calls if you can be part of it, or I can talk to your people. You tell, I, I can ask what's your, their goals and if they need to eat, lose weight, if they tone and yada, yada, yada. If it's think, nutrition, I can help you with that. Yeah, I think one thing though to when people talk about the no time factor, because like I'm the prime example of no time. I don't have time. Like, I'm sorry, but if someone's going to complain to me about time, I'm just going to laugh in their face and be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, really? You want to talk about time? I'll talk to you about time. The thing with coaching is that coaching helps us be more intentional with our time. And that's one of the things I would share with her is that okay, you don't have to have like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, right? It, it doesn't, it's not necessary to do that. Yeah, I did all the fluff in the beginning, which I don't do right now because I just don't have the time and it's stuff that I'll work on over the summertime and um, things like that. But I'm way more intentional with my time because of coaching. Because no, it keeps me. Yeah. So just maybe share that with her too, that, that even though she doesn't have these massive amounts of time, because time is a, is a common like thing for people where they're like, oh, I work long days I'm like yeah so do I like really um but it definitely helps just be more intentional you know with the whole like last weekend when I prepped the um food right. for the week I thought it was going to take me like I don't know most of the day to do it and it took me like two and a half hours and I I was done and I literally didn't have to cook the whole week other than my protein oh, right awesome. like it, so it just creates this space for you. Then I had time to do other things. So this is her. You don't need to see her picture. <laughs> she's well, lovely. Like, she's, we'll she's welcome her to the team when she comes to the team. Coach. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so Margo, I don't know if that really answered your question, but that would be the, the two things like sign them up as PCs. Yeah, um, like, I did learn that. Doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, I do know how to, Sometimes I will talk, people will become coaches because I um, edify them and, and make and sound like coaching is really what they should be doing because they're such a good role model. And a lot of people sign up. I can sign up. I can sign up coaches probably more Yeah, than but we want them to be successful, right? Otherwise, they're just yeah, like someone in your dial line. It's a, it's a matter of, it yeah. Really help. Yeah, I yeah, totally get I can it. sign them up, but what's the point if they're not going to join our calls or they're not going to yeah. join? And, you know, you get to a point where 
how much pushing or how much I know I can't do this for them. Um, so it's a matter of them want needing needing to want it. <laughs> and that's that's it's not necessarily that I can't sign up coaches because I can. I just I want them to do it because they want to do it. I want them to see this. And it's people who are have already been customers for a year or two or whatever. I'm not feeling down. I'm feeling up. I'm feeling happy. I'm everything's good. It's just that I there's some magic words or magic. Maybe I think maybe actually, you know, what, Kim, my best friend, Kim, yep. every day she sends me just by text a little, you are amazing, uh, you, you, like some, or something funny, you know. I love her quotes on Insta. Sometimes yeah. I try to share, but she's private, so I cannot share her on my stories. Yeah, well, she's, she, she also sends like funny ones. Like, you know, if, if I, I wish it wasn't frowned upon to smack somebody in the head when you disagreed with them or something like that. And, and, you know, those little things that she sends to me, I get a giggle from or whatever. And pretty much every day she does that. And maybe that's something that if I had just just pop that to my new coaches each day or every second day or every third day, something funny, a little a little you are you are amazing. Don't stop doing what you're doing or whatever. Maybe maybe something like because the, I, I invite my new coaches to Monday's call. I invite them to this. I invite them to my Thursday call and nobody comes and it's not that they they're very kind nice wonderful oh i missed it i was i mean easter and everything it's just it's trying to find another all of us i guess really is what okay and, can i challenge you on something how about you invite them for um to go to summit with us because seriously margo summit is when people realize why not me they're just yeah, human but, beings like us but I understand yeah, what you're saying, nice, Marissa. It's very nice, the quotes and everything, but it's not impactful. Like, if you want really, like, someone to, like, have the wake-up call, like, invite them for summit if they're game. We're going. Well, like, Super happy. Saturday, Super Saturday may be the first step just because it's local, and then they can check out the, the other coaches and stuff, and then maybe summit. I, I get that because that's, that's my whole journey was – Losing my mom on July 24th right? and being in Nashville yeah. on July 28th. So I get yeah. that, but it's hard to live my life, like to explain that feeling to another human. <laughs> they, yeah, they that's just... the thing. When you're like in live events, I just like, I'm like, I'm bursting out of joy and an amazing feeling for me is like the thing. And I remember I, I craved that. I craved that so much. And that's how it started with Zumba. And then Zumba kind of went like... And then I found beach water. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is the thing. This is my life. I signed up a coach. Um, actually, I asked, act, uh, blah, blah, blah. I asked her to be a coach because she's been on her journey for freaking ever. She um, signed up first time. I actually helped her to sign up. She was not really into the thing when I first started. Her name is Laura. She's from Brazil. Anyway, she reached out to me last week. She's like, Clarissa, I gained 10 kilos eating go to the late i was like loud come on give me a freaking break you need to be a coach to be accountable and i said i always see you tagging your personal trainer your nutritionist in brazil are you making any money so girl let's sign up as a coach you're gonna be more accountable in your journey i'm gonna help you with cutting all these go to delays and all the snacks from your life uh, come to Super Saturday. I'm going to meet you. I'm going to introduce you to my team. I'm going to introduce you to the girls. They are amazing. They're my family. You're also from Brazil. We don't have a family here. So lean into the fit family. And I said, we need to be with like-minded people. And then I went with that with the beer and like the snacks and all that. So anyways, she said that she has to go see family one of the day. So I'm hoping that she can come with me because she's like riding Burnaby. And I think that's going to be the game changer for her. Because I said, I was all over the place with my, on my journey until I became a coach. That's the only thing that holds me accountable. Yeah. MJ, what were you going to say? Me? MJ. Or who? MJ. Well, MJ was going to say something about Summit. No, I was just going to say that I, I love your idea about inviting people to Summit. But if you can't get them to a call, you're sure selling going to get them to, you know what I mean? <laughs> How about this flight? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly, right? 
just spend how much money on a on a plane and a like, uh, but that's the thing i am a traveler so i was gonna you know if you're gonna invite me to go work out with the people like people and you're gonna have parties sign me freaking up but that's me right that's yeah. my experience and i, I totally get, get that stuff and lady so there's a lot of people who are not flying anywhere so uh, yeah, yeah okay. that's super saturday, super, saturday super saturday first super saturday is a good <laughs> Take <my train. laughs> my way up <laughs> hey margo am i coming out it's the 30th right 30th yeah okay yeah I'm okay. Gonna I did to come too. just just so you guys know and then i'll shut up but i did a little fun just a little uh exercise in the park just the four of us and it was super funny because my um my speaker died um i didn't have my ipad because i left it in the dominican somewhere i think on the airport on the yeah i lost my ipad oh, so no. i didn't have my ipad. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought I need to do another workout here in Cloverdale because I did one like two months ago and I haven't done one since. And I've got this big Cloverdale boot camp group and everything. So, anyways, I threw together this impromptu thing. Well, Kim, Amanda, and Leslie came and we just laughed and laughed. They, of course, criticized uh -huh. everything I did. Um, they were, rat, you know, just throwing out all the critic or um razzing me for this and that and why am I doing that and what the hell is this <laughs> and we were just killing ourselves laughing so it was so much fun so if you ever do a boot camp in your own area with only two or three people that can be the most fun ever and then as everybody as Christina Tamara everybody says do it for the gram like just just get one or two people get out on a field have a lot of fun play some good music take a few photos and then post it and blow it blow it out there so yeah. um anyways it was a lot of fun just so you know that's awesome okay what were your other questions so your first question was how do i get coaches <laughs> well <clears throat> it was that um i guess i no i guess that that was that was the biggest question <laughs> uh because i did um, when Max told me, and I'm sure you did that, you said this before, um, I know, I still know I need to sit down and learn the freaking everything. I didn't know I wasn't in the right group. I didn't know. I don't know, but I feel like, like you, training you, were the, wrong. Hmm? you were the perfect example of failing forward. Totally, Margo. That's, that's that what, that's how we statement. grow. <laughs> But that's what he says in the book is fail forward. It takes time. You're, you're just kind of like, you all, it's almost like we stumble into our learning, right? So you just force yourself to be, oh, I'm not in the right group. Now you're in the right group. Oh, I don't know where to find the book. Oh, now you know where to find, you know what I mean? Like, and, and you le you're learning as you're doing it. So it's not like you need to sit down and be like some, I'm going to spend all this time doing all these trainings because the trainings are going to go like, in yeah. one year and out the other for the most part it's just that every day you're willing to kind of like tackle something new and I think that's just the perfect example of a good coach is someone who's willing to like you know you know how like if you're running and you're like off balance and you're kind of like leaning forward and running and <laughs> your feet are trying to keep up with your body that's the way I run <laughs> that well that's but that's that's you as a coach and everyone needs to be more like that as you as a coach where you're like your feet are your body's going so fast and your feet are trying to keep up yeah so it's awesome I, I don't think well, you need to do anything different you are okay, relentless so, yeah, yeah. You are. well that right there Tamara is why you're a vice principal and one of the top <laughs> teachers in your school because you're you take this negative Nelly not negative Nelly but this crazy person and and all of a sudden make her feel like hey you're you're on the right track mark you are on the right track <laughs> yeah <laughs> you keep yeah. screwing up you're doing great but i never said that you're screwing up <laughs> you know margo you don't stand in your own way i yeah. feel what happens with our team they have they stand in their own way and i i i, I tell right now i say i was like okay girl you are stand. because they say oh i need this training i was like no, you don't need this training. You had like five, you've been a coach for three, four, five years. You had enough training, enough, enough knowledge. Stop storaging the knowledge and actually put in practice. Use it. You are your worst enemy. You are standing your own way. So fire that Griselda. Remember that Tony Robbins lady that came to talk to us? Um, yeah, about Griselda. 
Fire that effing Griselda. And I, I, now that's how I'm talking to them. Of course, I do like a private message. It's like with love. It's like, but you know, you need some tough love. You don't need any more training. The other day she went in our fresh, fresh freshman for to be Tamara, that's what I need. And I was like, no, that's not what you need. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the putting one foot in front of the other. And that's what coaching is. And that's how you peel the layers off is the, <clears throat> you just take one step outside your comfort zone and another step outside your comfort zone and another step outside your comfort zone. And then you, along the way, discover these layers of yourself that you're like, oh, well, that was holding me back. But if you don't actually take the steps, you can't pull those layers back. Right. Yeah. So, and, and that's I think that's the, with me because yeah. now I'm doing counseling plus I have beach body journey. So that's like, soon I'm going to be a, this core of the, the onion. I don't think so. I think there's layers for life. Oh, I think well, so be layers what, for life okay, for everyone. One day, my, my, what I strive for is to get to the core of that onion. I want to strive yeah. every day to be a best version of myself. Oh no, for sure. And that's, that's what it's all about is the yeah. one day, but I think we're just constantly evolving as humans. So. Oh, absolutely. But like, yeah. I feel that for me, counseling weekly has been the game changer. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. I think I'll, I'll, I'll stop talking now because I'm taking over the whole show. Oh, because we have so many coaches like spending the Easter morning with us, right? It's it's coffee and um. And what did we call it? Yeah, somebody called it that at work. They would do they do these like coffee talks on Friday mornings or something like that, and I was like, oh, that'd be so social. Fun. So, yeah, I have Tomorrow learned a lot morning. in the three weeks of being vice principal of, <laughs> about people and um. Like I, I have no, I'm not going to go into it because into being a vice principal because I'd have to go back to school and get my master's and I have zero desire to do that. Um, but I wanted, because at least my principal has been around for so long, she actually hired me at my old school and she's so well respected in the district. I was like, you know, this is a really good leadership opportunity for me to kind of see things from a different perspective. And, oh, I've learned a lot oh, that's cool. <laughs> about people. <laughs> Well, when but you can when you can you relate say, that to like our coaches? Okay, here both of you. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Margot, go first. I was just gonna say you're dealing with the parents and the kids. So oh yeah. You're dealing with you see you see what's going on in front of you with the kids, and then the yeah. parents, I'm sure, might not see that and they deny it or don't. <laughs> so that's a tough situation. Go ahead, Clarissa. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, I can see. I can. You were asking about, can I see it in coaches? I can see in coaches and clients. It's everything. Okay. That right? is a skill that's being uh, useful, right? Like the, yeah, uh, maybe oh, the, sure. Griselda, the Griselda people, right? That, I don't know. Well, it's not even the Griselda thing. It's just um, so many people have these preconceived ideas of what everything looks like. Not necessarily just coaching or not necessarily just our boot camps or, you know, programs and things. It's everything in life people have these preconceived ideas of, of what it is. And then you're like up against these walls of what their ideas are about these certain things in life. And you're like, oh, that's interesting. Like never would have thought about it that way. So yeah, it's, it, it's good. It's given me some different perspectives for sure. And how to acknowledge people because ultimately that's what everyone wants is they want to feel seen, they want to feel heard, and it's how to acknowledge them. So that's been a big, a big learning thing for me too. So yeah, Debbie, how are you doing? Did you start Gut Health? I'm supposed to start tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so my husband actually went to a big conference downtown a week ago brought home this virus so I haven't been able to leave the house so, <laughs> so today is the first day I can go out so the idea was that I would go and get my food today and prep and I was reviewing everything again last night and I don't know if I can eat that much food all those containers a lot. well so that's why I was saying at the beginning of the call like the because I'm on plan a and it's six containers of veggies a day and I was like 
how the heck am I doing that? Because that's a lot of food. So I put two in my shake. Okay. Cauliflower and spinach in my shake because that's just too much. <laughs> yeah. Too, so too many um, veggies. And I'm I'm totally guilty of holding myself back. Like fear just gets the best of me all the time. Like getting out there and posting myself and doing the workouts. You know, I, I did it for a little while at the beginning of the year and I got some great feedback. People were actually reaching out to me and I don't know, my brain went click and I stopped, but I'm hoping with the gut protocol, I can really actually get back out there. Cause that is one of the things that I do struggle with. I do have like, you know, premenopausal and got all the gut issues. So I'm like, let's just do it. Let's get the groceries, take some pictures and just get myself out there and let's see what happens, right? So two things come to mind. Number one is please know that what you're feeling is normal. Like even top coaches get in their way sometimes, right? Like that's just human nature where we're gonna stop ourselves sometimes from doing the things that we need. We, um, it's not even that we know we should do, it's the things that we want to do to move ourselves forward. And there's something there that, that stops us. And so my second thing to that would be, if you're finding yourself in a phase like that, it's yeah. like 10 times your personal development, because there's something there that's some sort of layer that you need to pull away to look at. And it might not be super apparent what that layer is that's there, um, or what's causing that layer to be there. But then through personal development, you'll find, you know, these aha moments. So like, if you're finding, I would, you know, listen to podcasts, listen right. to books, like mix it up. Don't just do the same thing. So for me, the past, I would say like month and a half, um, I've been listening to binging on the holistic, the holistic psychologist on um, podcasts. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Um, all about like trauma and personal growth and and these things and so many like I would say every day there when I listen to one podcast there's at least like three aha moments I I think I kind of know what what I'm doing with myself like I'm putting up this wall because culturally you're brought up to always do things to you know you gotta keep your dad's head held high and everybody respects him and don't do anything and so, you know, I created my separate account for Dev K Fitness, figuring, you know, oh, the family doesn't follow me here. And then, well, guess what? The family found me and some people are following me. And that's kind of where I went, oh, click, can't post this anymore, you know? But I need to get over that hurdle. I know, I know what it is. It's just, I need to just do it. And I think I'm going to, I, and I'm hoping with this program, it's going to get me out of my shell and I'm going to just do it. Like, I'm just going to start clean and just do it starting tomorrow. And Fingers isn't, crossed. I don't put shame, that hurt wall back up. <laughs> yeah. Isn't shame such a weird thing though? Because that's what it is, right? Is like this it, fear it of is. bringing shame to your family. It, and, exactly. And, I was and brought how, up. how is taking care of yourself bringing shame to your family, right? Like it's, if you look at it critically, it's not. It's you're, not, it's totally not. You're, you're creating like a legacy for your kids too. Like how do you want your kids to then live their lives you know and it's so funny though because my dad will actually be like okay so I need to learn some exercises like what should I do yeah. like you know I'm getting old I can't do this and I can't go running and I can't you know I'm like oh yeah okay well just you know get some dumbbells and do this dad right so he'll actually ask me yet I'll be like I can't post a picture of myself in workout gear like that's like people are gonna be like look look at what his daughter's doing right like she's you know it's just mental, right? Like I just need oh, to sure. get beyond it. <laughs> so. yeah, it's, it's very powerful. Um, Brene Brown does a lot of stuff on shame. So if you want someone okay. good to follow it, she yeah. does a lot of work around shame and our shame triggers and things like that. So I would highly recommend following her for sure. Okay. I will okay. Do yeah. Thank you. So really our brains are really interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> this one is pretty good. Yeah. the power of vulnerability, vulnerability. okay yeah, yeah everything with her i also have been listening to listen to her okay mm -hmm. and Devi, i really relate to you to do the, the like family judging and all that because that's how we are brought up in brazil 
Yeah. And in the beginning, the first one that was like, are you going to do what? My brother was like, so like, you're going to do what? Home sissy workouts. He really judged me. And, uh, you know, like you don't have the confidence. You don't, you want to start. You don't even really know what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And then you come like, the people that should be supporting you come and like, the, is that bucket of cold water? Can we use that expression in English too? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, and then it's funny because three years into it, after like I start to go kind of like Angie Belmer, I'm not going to go with my family. I'm going to go outside friends or people that actually want to support me. What are you whining about? <laughs> Sorry, MJ. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> That was not directed at you, Clarissa. That was directed at someone in MJ's house. Okay, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, did you Please. hear? Did you hear his reply? <laughs> I haven't been grocery shopping, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's so whiny. Oh, too funny. Okay, where where I was? <laughs> going outside to people that would support you like outside of family like Angie so I said. started actually going outside and you I tried to like not focus on like how they're gonna judge me or seeing what I was doing because imagine like, like in Brazil what are you gonna be an online coach do you need a training because in Brazil like you need to be a personal trainer you need to go to a uh, physical education university you, and here you like take a, a weekend course to be a personal trainer no it's not and a weekend so course. people Oh, okay, but it's like it's short and it's way like it's not four years. But then even my mom's like, uh, but you're gonna be a nutritionist, so you're gonna teach people what to eat. So then I start getting all this negativity of like, stop. My sister was actually the only one that gave me a chance. I was even telling um Jazz that in the beginning, but like eight months into to my journey. But I had to go get my confidence with like outside people because seriously, my family was just putting me down. And now my mom is like. She makes me order shitana of Shakeology before I go to Brazil because she knows Shakeology is the only thing that curbs her craving. So she doesn't binge eating and all this stuff in the pantry. So yeah, they're always buying Shakeology off me and now it's completely different. My brother, three years into my my coaching career, he comes, Gla, I need your help. He was 40, had a gut on him. So he had an incredible transformation. So now they believe in me, but like, I, I didn't get any, you know, now my mom thinks that I'm amazing and leader. She sees me like doing my exercise with the, la the Brazilian ladies. She's like telling, look, look, she does. She's an influencer. <laughs> because people ask, oh, I think she doesn't need to work. <laughs> so now it's different. They support me. But like in the beginning, I got the, the buckets of cold water, like left and right. I think, I think that's pretty common though. I don't think that's just necessarily culturally. I think it's you're going to get the buckets of water from the people closest to you because they're the ones who care and they're the ones who don't want to see you get hurt and don't want to see you invest all this time or this money into something and then it, ha it bite you in the ass whereas outside people don't really care they're not invested in you the same way so the yeah. people closest to us are the ones that are often going to be the ones that bring us down and not because they want to bring us down, but almost from a place of like um, protecting you, right? Like so that you don't get hurt. Yeah, my mom protected me so much my childhood with all this bringing me down that now I'm having to fix my life at the age of 45 in counseling. <laughs> yeah, well, and that goes to show you what your mom lived too, right? So. Oh yeah, I know. That's She's all trapped. she knew. Yeah. She's trapped, yeah. yeah so. Be prepared to, uh, uh, with close friends. Sometimes, um, my best friend, Kim, is my, is a, a thank gosh, God, God, gosh, for her, because she is very supportive. And I'm, I, I love you guys. I love you more than anything, but you guys are in it with me. And when you're, last night I was out for dinner with four other couples, their friend, Harv's friends, guy friends, and their wives. And those wives have judged me since the beginning. They and I was sitting at the table and of course I'm doing this gut cleanse. So I had sparkling water with uh, lime in it. And then I had uh, 
I ordered the Cobb salad without cheese and dressing on the side. And it was really good. I mean, I'm eating all the food. I, I'm eating a lot. And I'm, I'm, my body is hungry. Um, and uh, one of the women there, she's fairly big. And there's actually two, two or three of them. Um, but they're not they're not as judgy as this one or two of them. And uh, she ordered dessert after her meal because she loves sweets. And she said, hey, skinny bitch, skinny bitch, are you going to get dessert, skinny bitch? And I said, Allison, not skinny. Because if people that know me know I hate that word. My dad died because he was too, he didn't die because he was too skinny. But when he died, he was weak and skinny. And I hate that word. I hate it. And, you know, she's, hey, skinny bitch, you going to get dessert? And, he, and I, I, I looked at her, I said, not skinny, Al. And she said, and somebody else said, fit, fit. Okay, fit. And it's like, screw you and the horse you rode in on. Get me out of here. <laughs> I don't want to be Hi, That's horrible energy, Margo. I'm so, I feel so sorry for you. You're like, you have this beautiful energy. Oh. Yeah, but nobody in that group, it's, it, it's a long story with that group, but they're uh, negative Nellies and all they care about is their Kate Spade bag and their, their, and their glass of wine. On, and look at my shoes, and look at my house, and look at my, anyways, and I'm just not like that. So I only hang out with them because dumb, because dumb of the, the guys, false with the guys. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's what i was telling laura lean into a community that's like-minded people that's gonna is gonna actually help you to grow as a human yeah. being not to put you down because i i that's what i think like when i go to brazil and i see my family like especially my mom and dad because that's right and i see the core because i be evolving as a human being i'm open for growth and they're not so when i see that i was like thank god I was open because I, yeah. I, I don't want to be in the environment. Like my mom's so negative, so negative. That was one day that I was crying the freaking whole day. Actually, we had a meeting. I bought the five love language in Portuguese. And I said, you guys, open up, let read to this. So, you know, but like, she's not open. My mom said, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. My dad's like, okay, I'll read it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, those are my friends. Those are friends. Those aren't. Real froze. Absolutely, boundaries. That I yeah. know what I'm. I know. I know. I know what I'm in for when I do. Yeah. And I still am my fun-loving self, and I say silly jokes and whatever. But then I, it's not. I don't go out of my way to include them in my stuff wow. that I do. But it's right. it's unfortunate. But whatever. That's the. What co I think that's one of the things that coaching does for you too, though, is it helps with those boundaries totally. right? of like, okay, I can hang out with you on a Friday night for my husband's sake. Um, even that's though I wouldn't it. choose to hang out with you, at, but your energy is not going to affect me. Yeah. It's not you know? welcome. Yeah. Welcome to my life. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I don't know, like before coaching, I wouldn't have been able to do that the same way. You know, I think of my former, like, really good friend and how she just used to drag me down and drag me down and drag or try to. And finally, I was like, I think I've told this story where she was like, told me one day, because it was always, I'm so fucking fat, I'm so fucking fat, I'm so fucking fat. And then one day she told me about how she ate 12 cookies. And I was like, how do 12 cookies taste? And I like walked away because I was like, what do you want me to say? I know. I'm sorry, but like, don't eat the 12 freaking cookies and then complain to me about how fat you are. Like, it just doesn't work. And then I was like, this is obviously not, not, not working because I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I want to feel good. And she's going to keep doing what she's doing because she wants to feel like shit and have people feel sorry for her. So yeah. You did she lose the weight? You can't take, no, cause she, she did awesome with 645 and hasn't done anything since. So, oh. Yeah. And I know she has a lot of personal stuff going on. Like she lost her dad in the spring and her mom is severe dementia. Um, so like I know she has, and quite young, right? Like, like she's my age and to have her mom with severe, she's in her sixties. So 
so it's sad for sure she has a lot going on and then her husband lost his dad and so it's just like it's just been a of shit 100 percent. at the same time you got to take care of yourself because what are you seeing yeah come at you with that so yeah okay let's do a quick picture I'll fancy up my pajamas. There you go. Why am I on live? Apparently we're doing live videos today. Awesome. It's okay though. It's like a boomerang, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Debbie, are you coming next weekend to Super Saturday? I've not bought my ticket, but I will. Margot, do you know if there's still tickets? I believe so. We're having our meeting. <laughs> I don't even know. You know, I've I've sat on this committee and I've done this much. Yeah, well, I started you have. Uh, that's where I'm going to disagree with you, because you have this way of like. You're trying to feel at the water without taking over for people that aren't going to handle taking over really well. So you have done things, you just, you're just influencing it in a different, easy kind of way for this I, I use, I do uh, scope out the joint before I actually dive right in usually. <laughs> and a steel, a steel is a freaking amazing. She's mm -hmm. an amazing lady. Um, she is on the ball. She, cause she is, she organized the ones, I guess, in Edmonton or Calgary or wherever, yeah. I think you said. I think it was so, Edmonton. Edmonton. So she created the graphic. She's books. She she's just she's a doer, and that's the best person to have on a committee. Um, and then the other two ladies are they've been on the committee for a long time, so they have the history. And sort of my <clears throat> part, I'm thinking, will be more in the moment, the energy, the music, the the hugging and kissing everybody with COVID. No, <laughs> no, I won't be doing that. But you know, just the sort of the I'll try and kick it up a notch when I'm there. I'll try and bring as many people as I can, maybe. Um, I know Tamara, you and I are going together. Um, um, Matt said I, she was going to drive to your place and the three of us could go together. Oh, three of us are going together? Okay, if I have people that are coming then, I just want to make it easy for them. So I'll just sell, say, say, yeah, we're going on a convoy. It's a trucker's convoy, but a different kind. So just jump in. Get in the line. We'll we'll get there. We'll play our music. We'll talk yeah. to each other. I need we'll a, I need an actual ride though. Like I need you to pick me up. Oh, I know that. I know that. Okay. So I put you and Max <laughs> in my car, and I, I I'm just saying I'm going to create the energy so that they think they're in my car, but they're not. Not. It's okay. all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. <laughs> You're actually not in my car, but <laughs> but <laughs> if okay. I can get people to come, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, well, Debbie, it would be awesome if you come because even just getting like the tastes of the live events are, it really, really does help. We are doing a workout, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Debbie, um, live workout. I think there's an instructor coming. So I'm not sure what workout she's doing. Um, oh, that's fine. But yeah, it's we need be a live. mat. We need to bring a mat. Bring a mat. Debbie, message me like during the week. Um, if Laura's not taking the ticket, you can have it for free because I bought for Cindy and Cindy had bought hers. I was going to give it to, to Cindy. Oh, okay. I was going to actually look at buying my ticket today just to make sure that like tomorrow, oh, what okay. if they run out? So. I'll, I'll, I'll message Laura then tonight, today to see if she's going to come. Otherwise you can have my ticket. Oh, okay. Thank you. My second Please. one. Thank you. Please let me know. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, happy Easter. Um, let's keep slaying the gut health and uh, Debbie, good luck with getting that started this week. It was, it's been pretty awesome. So I'm very happy. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see Everyone. you. Sorry Have about the F bomb. Oh, all, all good. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Bye everybody. Have a great day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.